All right, so here we have this problem from the GMAT. Uh, we've got 60 people. They all ranked chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry ice cream in terms of preference, first, second, or third. Um, Three-fifths of them ranked vanilla last, savages. Uh, One-tenth of them vanilla before chocolate. One-third vanilla before strawberry. And the question is, how many ranked vanilla first? And here are your five answer choices. So at first glance, this looks like a, a triple overlapping sets problem. I mean, look, you've got three categories, right? Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. So it's got to be a triple overlapping sets problem, but it's weird. Um, so the question you should ask yourself is, how do I identify whether something really is a triple overlapping sets problem? And basically it's this. If you can do, if there are three different things and you can do all three of them at once, or you can do two of them or none of them, then that's a triple overlapping set problem, okay? So does this apply? Can you rank chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry first all at the same time? You can't. I didn't write it down here, but in the problem it says that none of them were equally ranked. So this doesn't count. Um, you're unable to rank all three of them first. Uh, and you can't rank any of them, you can't rank none of them first. Um, now, if the question had been something like, oh, a bunch of people walked into an ice cream uh, store and they bought, you know, chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry ice cream, then you can do all three of those, right? Uh, you could go in, you could buy all three flavors, or you could just come in and just order some strawberry alone, or you could just walk in and like fold your arms and look grumpy and not order any ice cream, right? Um, so that would have been an over a triple overlapping set problem, but this is not. So, what are we going to do? Well, I think most people figure out that, look, anybody who um, ranks vanilla last, they couldn't have ranked it first. So the three-fifths of the people who ranked it last, they don't count. So what's three-fifths of 60? If you divide 60 by 5, you get 12. 12 times 3 is 36. So that means that, you know, 36 this is 36 people, which means that we have 24 people left, okay? We have 24 people who could have ranked it first. Now, I might do a quick scan uh, and look at the answer choices. Hopefully, I can eliminate a few, but I can't because they're all under 24. Okay. Good idea to do a scan, though. Um, all right. So what do we do next? So I think here's the toughest part of the problem is to realize this is actually a double overlapping set problem. Once we've eliminated everybody who says vanilla can't be last, we've got these two types of people. Now, most of the time, a triple over, a double overlapping set problem looks like this. You know, you got a bunch of kids and they're like taking Taekwondo or they're not taking Taekwondo. You got a bunch of other kids uh, and they're taking Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or they're not taking Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And you can take both if you want, right? Or neither. Um, so it's usually, you know, Jiu Jitsu, not Jiu Jitsu. Uh, taekwondo, not Taekwondo. This doesn't look like that. But if you've ever got a binary choice where you can do this or that, then that can be a double overlapping set. So what's the binary choice here? Ah, you know what? Vanilla before chocolate or chocolate before vanilla. That's what you can do. And you can do both of these at the same time if you want. So that's, I think, the hardest part of this problem. Once we figure that out, we can make our triple overlapping set table, okay? And label it like this. Vanilla before chocolate, chocolate before vanilla. So between these two categories, you've got everything covered, right? Over here, this is going to be vanilla before strawberry or strawberry before vanilla. And now I can just fill in all the information uh, that they've given me, okay? So, uh, let's see. It says one-tenth ranked vanilla before chocolate. So one-tenth of 60, not 24, but the total. One-tenth of 60 is 6. Vanilla before chocolate, that goes down here, right? Uh, one-third of everybody ranked vanilla before strawberry. So one-third of everybody is 20. Vanilla before strawberry, so 20 goes here. And everybody goes down here, okay? Except it's not 60, um, because we've already eliminated the people. This is only people who didn't rank vanilla last. So this total down here is 24. Um, all right, now I could fill in this. And, and also, I like to put a circle around what the question is. So the question is, how many rank vanilla first? That's this, right? If you rank vanilla before chocolate and you rank it before strawberry, then it must be first. All right, so I want this box. Now, if you've done a lot of uh, these overlapping sets tables, you know already you can't really solve it. And here's why, right? So this plus this has to equal this. So this must be 18. And this plus this equals this, so this must be 4. But I can't get this because I, I don't know what's going on, right? I, I can't fill in any more of these boxes. So here's a trap that they like to do in these double overlapping sets problems, which is what we naturally do is we look for numbers. That's what I did, right? I look for three-fifths and 60 and one-tenth and one-third. We look for all these numbers and then we fill them in. And then I'm like, oh, I'm out of numbers. I don't know what to do next. 
but secretly they've given us one of these squares, but they didn't actually use numbers. They used words or some sort of like implication, okay? So if you're a little fuzzy, then look at them and see, what do I know? Well, this is the question, so it can't be that. Do I know this? Do I know this? What about this one? This box here represents people who ranked vanilla after chocolate and vanilla after strawberry. In other words, they ranked it last, right? But we've already eliminated these people. So that means this box is zero. Now that we know this is zero, then this must be four. And if this is four and this is six, then this must be two, and that's it. This little trap, they love to do that. So if you're ever stuck, just think, look at this lower, the middle box here and ask yourself, is there somebody who didn't do any, either of these activities? Anyway, that's it.